Hello everyone, and th hello and oh, oh my gosh, I'm bad at intros. I just said hello like three times. But welcome to my Wizard of Legend boss tier list. Now, this Wizard of Legend is a game I love and have been really wanting to make some content on. Unfortunately, I own it on my Switch and don't have a capture card. But so I figured I will do a boss tier list because. Fighting every single boss hundreds and hundreds of time over over a hundred hours. I just said over over twice in a row. Now I'm not very good at making these videos. But fighting these bosses over a hundred hours dozens of times, I have started to categorize them by myself. Just in my head. Like, oh, unlucky, I got this boss. Or nice, I got this boss. Really easy. So I figured I would just make a video about the bosses. So let's just start off and categorize some of them. First of all, let's start off with, um, I want to start off strong with a main stage boss. Ah, it's a bit laggy, ignore that. Um, Wind Chauvin your shoe. Now he, he's fast, and his slow effect, if you get hit by it once, you'll get hit many times, especially during his ultra attack. But, that's why I'm going to be calling them the ultra attacks, where they do like this really strong attack, but... Other than that, he's act his attacks, I would say, are probably one of the easiest to dodge, other than a few bosses, which we'll talk about later. He's simple, but he is probably my favorite boss in the game. I just think he's really cool and overall a uh, good design boss. Let's Next, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with um, the Summoner. I don't remember his exact name. So the summoner, summoner is annoying. I'm going to put them in A tier. Might change that a bit later. Summoner, if you let them summon two sets of enemies without taking out many of them, oh my gosh, it can be terrible. And if you're past stage one, um, the summoner will have this attack where they have all their enemies line up and dash at you and do that three times. And if there is too many enemies, well, you better bet either you have the Chaos Rift dash or are really good at dodging and or quickly attacking. The summoner is, I don't remember their name, that's upsetting. The summoner is a really hard boss and overall, I if I get them, I'm pretty upset. Let's uh, do another one. Let's do burst mage. Burst mage can be annoying. Projectiles are annoying and burst mage has a lot of them, but I would say they are fairly on the relatively easy side of the spectrum to dodge you can dash around them or if they're relatively easy burst mage is just annoying let's do uh, another main stage boss earth lord atlas i'm gonna put him in b tier highest in b tier a solid b tier boss he's the thing is here's the thing with him he he hits hard. He is the most damaging boss. And if you get hit, you get hit and it hurts. And because you're demoralized from this first hit, you are probably going to be doing worse and worse throughout the fight. And overall, he's a tough fight, but not the hardest one. There's definitely harder ones. And I'd rather get Earth Ford Atlas over a few other bosses. Now, now let's talk about... Master Sura Phase 1. Master Sura Phase 1 is a joke, okay? Master Sura Phase 1, he stands still in the center. Sure, he has his shield thing, but he most of his attacks, the most attacks in this game are directly targeted at the player. For example, Wind Chauvin Your Shoe, most of its attacks will be aimed towards the player. Master Sura Phase 1 is not like that. Ma with Master Sura Phase 1, he just stands there, and a lot of his attacks are always going in the same directions, not targeted at the player. So, this makes Master Sura Phase 1 really easy. I can, If I can consistently get to the Master Sura fight, I can consistently get past the Phase 1 part of the fight. Now, let's do another really easy fight. Fleet Lancer. He's going to go another C tier. I don't know, he, he just attacks. Very easy to dodge. That's about it. Let's do uh, Counter Rogue. Counter Rogue, 
can be annoying in the later stages of the game. See, here's the, th here's the thing. I would say Counter Rogue is easier. Actually, no, no, no. Counter Rogue is definitely harder than... Counter Rogue's harder than Burst Mage, but he is not harder. He's easier than Earthlord Atlas. Here's the thing. Counter Rogue... So, in the earlier stages, he's actually pretty easy, but we're going to talk about the later stages when they have more attacks. He has that one attack where he summons two other enemies, and all of them are invisible, and you have to guess the right one. Not that hard. But then he has another attack where he summons three rogues, and then he hides in the corner and heals himself. And he has a shield for that attack, where you have to deal enough damage before you can actually deal damage to his health, which is a really annoying attack. And then just overall, Counter Rogue is hard, because if you try and hit him to stun lock him, well, sometimes he'll hit you at the same time. It's an annoying fight, but once again, there are harder fights. Now let's talk about... No, I'm not... Master... I don't know what fight... Yeah, let's talk about Master Sir Phase 2. Actually, no, before we talk about that, we need to talk about um, Flame Empress Zeal. You see, she is the hardest in air tier and could almost be an S tier. She, I used to think of her as easy because she doesn't have that many projectile attacks and most of her play style is just rush down. But that's the thing. She will rush at you and if she hits you, she'll keep hitting you. And she will rush at you and rush at you and rush at you and oh my gosh, it is one of the hardest fights ever. She'll constantly dash at you and charge at you and her special attack is, in my opinion, the hardest one to dodge. It takes, it's so large and blocks your view, and it's just hard to dodge overall. I would say she is one of the hardest fights in this game, and just shy of S tier for difficulty. Now, it's time we talk about Master Sura Phase 2. Not actually that much to talk about. Master Sura Phase 2, it's just... Similar to Frost Queen, or not Frost Queen, Flame Empress Seal, and I didn't mean to move the Thunder Coins. We'll get to them later. Um, uh, Master Sura Phase 2 is similar to Fam Flame Empress Seal in the fact that he's just rushed down. He uses, player, he uses player spells and acts like a player, and I love that. I love the PvP mode, but sadly none of my friends will face me because I'm too good. And he's just such an interesting final fight. But sadly, he is really difficult. He's probably my second favorite fight in the game, just below Wind Shoving Your Shoe. But we're not rating favorite. We're rating difficulty. And he's just like Flame Emperor Seal, and that makes him really difficult. The only thing that saves him is really a lot of his attacks are easier to dodge. Now, do I cover the easy spectrum or the hard spectrum side of the spectrum? Well, I'm gonna... Uh, we'll do one at a time. Crush Knight. Yeah, he's not that hard. He just... Dashes at you. And attacks you. He's easy. Now... Crush Colossus. Oh my gosh, Crush Colossus is a... Boss. Definitely. He is so annoying. He is one of the hardest fights. The minions he summons. There's that really strong guy which cannot be stun locked and just is so strong and has so much health. And then there's the jumper which is just annoying to take down because half the time you can't even hit him. And then there's the boss himself. The boss is just jumping around. His things come up. He'll roll things at you. He'll throw things. He'll summon more of the jumper minions. This boss, it's hard to explain. But he is just so annoying. It's it's just so hard and annoying and tough and difficult. And I die to that fight so much. If I get Crush Colossus and I'm below half health, I might as well reset. Now let's talk about Frost Queen Freya. Fry, 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 uh, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Easiest boss in the game. Easier than Crash Knight, arguably. Her freeze thing can be annoying. And similar to Windshield from your shoe and... Um, Flame Emperor Seal, when you're hit, you're hit for a while, because, especially with the freeze effect, because you get frozen, and then she keeps hitting you. The thing is, you have to get hit in the first place. 
It's so easy to dodge her attacks. All her attacks are so easy. The one blizzard thing, just go to the side of the arena. The thing where she shoots the beams, just go behind her. And if you're not, if you have the chaos dash rift spell thing, boom, easy, solved. Um, the spears, yeah, you just dash out of the way at the last second. Her super attack, no, that's so easy, just literally run. She's the easiest fight in the game, and I am. I would always be glad to get her on the final um level five of boss rush mode. But then there's the opposite. Congratulations, Thunder Twins! You get the award for hardest boss in the game. Now, Thunder Twins. Thunder Twins are so annoying. They don't have the worst stats effect, arguably, similar to Frost Queen Fireballs, but it just is worse. It shocks you, and it keeps you in place, but their attacks are so strong and so quick, it's like if you take the rushdown of Flame Empress Zeal and Master Sura Phase 2, because they will be constantly dashing at you and quick and attacking you, but then you have the stun of Frost Queen Ferrara, but it actually works because their attacks are hard to dodge, and then their super, take the super of Frost Queen Ferrara, and also Wind Chauvin Yersu, and, um, Earth Lord Atlas and all combine them into absolute nightmare. It, they are such a hard fight and get the award of hardest boss fight. It is just pain. If I go into boss rush mode and I see them as the final boss on level 5, no, I'm resetting that run right from there. Whew. Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. That has been my boss um my wizard of legend boss tier list by difficulty i really hope you enjoyed it um it's something i've been wanting to do for a really long time so um yeah like comment and subscribe and have a good day